Hello there, friends. It's Ashley here from the Loopy Lamb and the LoopyLamb.com. And this week I sat down with the latest crochet pattern book release from designer Vanessa Muncy and GMC Publications called Crocheted Bees, Bugs, and Butterflies. Today I'll be sharing with you my review of this book so you know what to expect before deciding whether to purchase a copy of this book for yourself. If you're ready to get started, hit that like button and please consider subscribing to this channel. We post new free co crochet content here every week and we'd love to have you here as part of our community. So I've had the opportunity in the past to review some of Vanessa's previous titles like Crocheted Dogs, Simple Crocheted Hats, Crocheted Animal Rugs, and my personal favorite, Crocheted Birds, all of which have been fantastic books that are still a part of my personal crochet library. Vanessa has a reputation for creating gorgeous, realistic amigurumi crochet projects, and I have been very excited to check out this latest release. There are crochet patterns for 10 different crocheted bees, bugs, and butterflies, with three of these patterns including variations to create an additional six species of insects. So I'll take a, I'll, uh, flip through these pages here and I'll show you these projects. We've got bumblebees. This is one of those projects that has the uh, different variations. There is a white-tailed bumblebee, a red-tailed bumblebee, and the tree bumblebee. Then there is the cicada praying mantis, a Christmas beetle. It's done here in two different colors. And there are swallowtail butterflies. So this is the tiger swallowtail butterfly, zebra swallowtail, and my daughter's favorite, the pipe vine swallowtail. Then we have this gorgeous dragonfly. And there's a ladybird or ladybug and a mirror spider. Oops. Then we have the moths. And this is that other pattern that has the different variations. There is a harnessed tiger moth, a leopard moth, as well as a white ermine moth. And finally, we have the stag beetle. The patterns in this amigurumi book are written in the UK terminology with a conversion chart for those that are used to working with US terminology found on page 138. The projects themselves are all very small, only a few inches long, and they're crocheted using teeny tiny hooks, for example, uh, 1.25 millimeter hooks and thread. I found the majority of the patterns to be straightforward and easy to follow. Patterns are supported by stitch charts, which I found to be helpful at clarifying some of the more complex instructions or concepts. The first stitch chart in each pattern is accompanied by a key, which indicates what each symbol in the stitch chart means. The finished projects themselves are gorgeous and realistic. Included on page one, pages 136 through 137 of this book is guidance on ways to wear or display your crocheted bees, bugs, or butterflies using glass domes, picture frames, or my favorite, a brooch. My kids are obsessed with bugs and my daughter has woken up every day since I received this book asking if I could make her a moth or butterfly to put in a picture frame on her wall. And I think she'll be very excited when she gets one for Christmas this year. In pages 124 through 135 is the section where you'll find your main resources called techniques available in the book. This section covers basic stitches and techniques used in the book, which are illustrated using drawings. There is a small section in this um, part of the book that indicates how to read a chart, which is uh, quite basic and I think could have been expanded upon. Sure, each pattern has a key of symbols at the first, uh, with the first chart of each pattern. However, to me, it makes sense to have a full key of symbols in this section to help clarify and reinforce the topic. And we have a section here at the beginning that shows how to hold a crochet hook. So I'm thinking that if you've got something that kind of implying that this book is accessible for beginners, that it would make sense to uh, reinforce and flush out this topic a little bit more. However, that might be just me being a little picky. Overall, I really enjoyed this book, Crocheted Bees, Bugs, and Butterflies. As I've come to expect from a Vanessa Muncy title, each project is an absolute work of art. I'd recommend this title for experienced, intermediate-level crocheters that understand that creating a work of art of this nature takes time, patience, and finesse. This is a great addition to your crochet library if you or a loved one 
loves insects, or if you simply want to learn how to create show-stopping, realistic bees, bugs, and butterflies. If you'd like to see a list of the resources available and a high-level overview of the materials used in this book, you can find those available in the written version of this review on my blog. That's it for me today. If you have any comments or questions, I'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. I hope that you have found this review helpful. If you did, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to this channel. If you love free crochet patterns, don't forget to check out my blog, theloopylam.com. Thanks so much for watching, friends. Happy hooking, and I'll see you next time.